Hi, welcome to my video walkthrough of several open educational resources that I have found I wanted to share with you for a really excellent free courses on several topics ranging from math, language arts, all the way through science and foreign languages. The first one I wanted to share with you is a open learning initiative of the Carnegie Mellon University. So all these courses are completely free of charge and you can start learning anytime. These of course are geared to college students, but a lot of these here uh, are, would, are suitable for, for high schoolers as well, I would think. In fact, I looked at the at French one and two, I actually went inside the course and because you are able to, you can enter right there. You don't even need to to register, although you you can. And if you do, then you would have a log of your activities and, and all of those extras. But even if you don't, there is your course. So I think it's it's just excellent. Everything with audio and video. And then you have the syllabus and the outline and the help and more. I mean, you have everything that you need. The next resource I wanted to share with you is the Georgia Virtual Learning uh, portal from the Georgia Department of Education. Again, here you have different, different resources, even for middle schoolers even. So it, it's not just for college. So this, which is great because usually what I found is a lot of college courses that the universities uh, offer. So this one, since it's not a university, then I guess they included middle schoolers as well. So the good thing about this is that it's, it's a complete course. I mean, you don't have to be hunting down for because a lot of free resources you need to, uh, it, it's like you have to piece them all together. Here, everything is already there, so you can just use them completely as a spine for, for anything. So, as you can see, there are so many different topics here. World languages, they're great because they have the audio and, and the video and the exercises and quizzes and everything in there. And they have a lot of different languages in here, even Latin and AP Latin. So, so I think it's, it's an excellent resource. Thank you so much, uh, Georgia Department of Education. The next one is the Open Course Library, and this one is developed by Washington State University, I think, Washington State Board for Community and Technical Colleges. So it is, it is a college, uh, usually college level courses. And they have a lot of different courses in here as well. And everything is under the Creative Commons license. So you are free to modif adapt, modify, and share as long as you provide everything with the same, keep the same license, and give them a credit to, to these people. So here you have reading art appreciation, sound language, I mean, a ton of different things. And the thing that I found with these courses, though, is everything is in the Google Drive. And I think it's not very intuitive. To, to, I mean, what do you do? What, like, what do I start to even download in here? So you do have to, to navigate back and forth, I think, until you get exactly the hang of it, the resources and which order to go on that. But everything is in there. So once you once you figure it out, then you can knock yourself out. The next one is the mylot.org. And this is rather than offering courses themselves, they are actually a a curation place and they, they have a collection of resources that they've curated from from 
around the world, not just uh, the, uni the United States. So you can find uh, resources in many other languages as well. So this should be quite interesting if you wanted to advance your studies in a language, in a particular language that you're studying, it's usually kind of fun to take a class in that language and see if, if you can tackle that and you'll be amazed at how much you learn with that, not just the language that you're learning, but the actual topic that you choose as well. So there you can even add your own collections here and there is all the the type of information that they have for you. So it's it's really neat. And it's also nice that they have peer reviews and user ratings. So that will give you an idea of what's, what's best. And the last one in my list for today is the OpenStack College uh, from Rice University. I This one is a uh, sharing of textbooks. That's what it is. So here, in fact, I shared in my previous video a textbook for pre-algebra that came from here, which I thought that was, there it is, pre-algebra. I thought that was pretty awesome as far as textbook is concerned. They have tons of other textbooks here. These are just a few sample of them. And you can use the textbook online for free. If not, if you would prefer, you can you can download it, a PDF version, and they'll ask you to give a voluntary donation if that's what you would like to do. You don't have to donate, but they'll ask you for that possibility. If not, you can also buy it a physical uh, a physical print book which is supposed to be just low cost a book that well here it says 55 so i guess that's considered low cost i thought i read somewhere else it was 30 or less but 55 for a college textbook i think it's pretty reasonable all right so this concludes my roundup of collection of of free open educational resources actually that's redundant because open educational resources are free they're supposed to be free so i hope they're useful you find them useful for your own homeschooling if you know of any other resources that we can add to this list please do let us know let me know in the comments below or or um just share with us what you know i know there are tons of things out there and it's impossible to have them all in in just one list because they keep coming out and I keep finding more and more. But I hope to continue to bring them to you as soon as I find them. So thank you for watching and see you next time.